It's you gotta grow. Absolutely. And it, se- it seems like, well, well this is my, this is, this is yeah. why I'm gonna pivot back, right? Yeah. It seems like when you started this four years ago, you were at that pivot point. Yeah, where well, you we wanted, had a where, we where, had a where, where, where right? you were growth, right? Yeah. Like growth was a. It seems like growth is a big, a big theme in your life where Absolutely. you're like embracing it. Absolutely. Where most people push away from it. Real talk. Yeah, yeah. Like, so, it's like scary. It can yeah, be scary. Like, yeah, like most people go through some identity crisis of yeah. like, I mean, I'm not 20 no more. I didn't yeah, find what yeah, I was looking yeah. for. I thought I was gonna be married by X Y Z. I thought I was gonna blah blah Bro, blah by X Y Z. I pivoted my career at 38 years old to pursue like just something that I loved and was passionate about. Yeah. So like, don't get it twisted. It was fucking scary. Like it was absolutely scary. And yeah, on growth, it's like, we also had a choice. Like we, we, we clearly like gave the community a, a, we, an opportunity to work out. Like they needed this, right? Like yeah. on, on growth, like they, like we filled a hole that was Yeah, needed. there was a gap there. There was a gap there. And we kind of filled that hole and like, we grew, we grew really quickly, and That's a blessing, I had a dude. choice. Like I was like, no, like I want to keep it small. I want to keep it, I want to keep it just very small and very have like. You, have you gotten? Management. Have you gotten people come in with like, like uh, um? We've had it all, Juan. Uh, we, every, I mean, every like. Have you gotten, has experienced fucking have everything, you, ha, bro. Have you gotten offers from like the like the corporate? Like, mm-hmm. hey, can you start another one over here? Uh, hey, can you do it? We'll we'll nah, we'll, yeah, we'll lend you yet. some venture capital real quick. No, no, no. Like, I mean, the good thing is, whenever there's people all the time that so like you've had it and you've said no, or you it hasn't happened. No, like we 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 get emails all the time from people that want to be in the Lyft ATX business. Like that happens all the time. Like, hey. Why don't you open a gym? Hey, I got money. Let's open a gym somewhere, yeah, somewhere, like, somewhere. Let's uh, like, they're, hey, they're trying to be like some partner ever, or whatever. Yeah, you ever think about opening a gym X, Y, and Z? Franchise like, that happens all the time. And you're not interested in franchising? Well, you know, like I'm always interested in growth, but it's more so like, what am I giving up? Like, what am I giving up in regards to like if I decide I don't have any partners? I, it's me. That's great. I own every fucking plate here. I own every machine. Like, I don't owe anybody. So, like, if the shit hits the fan and we have to close the doors, you know, I sleep. I can sleep well at night. No, I, I can sleep well at night knowing that. You know what? I owned a pretty cool fucking gym and I supported a lot of it people. It was a dope run. It was dope. Like, yeah. Cool. And I don't owe anybody anything. So, like, when I get those emails or when I get those inquiries about people that want to be in the Lyft ATX business or whatever or, or want to help trying to open a gym, it's like. There's a lot to consider. There's a lot, because like one, it's not just a gym to me. And my staff, shout out to my staff who are amazing. Like my staff understands that, my trainers understand that. Like it's not just a gym, man, it's bigger. It's bigger than that. So like I have to think about like, I have to think about like, is it a good fit? Are you matching? Do you just want to get in here and make money and use our name? You know what I mean? So like those are things that we think about. So yeah, it does happen. Yeah. It does happen. with with how rich yeah. with how rich the culture yeah. that you've built here with how rich it is yeah that we've done something amazing we've done a lot yeah, of work bro. and we're like and just because you you know you can have all the money in the fucking world but like and you can have all the nicest equipment in the world but there's so much more to it in regards to like owning a space or a gym like what else do you got like do you what what like we i think the way i say it i say it a lot too is like we have a soul like our gym has a very distinguished soul and a vibe you know that's that far transcends just a gym you know what i'm saying see see now yeah i'm looking at it now so much more so anybody that anybody that emails you with that kind of inquiry already doesn't understand the place yeah and i get it like i mean you know what i mean it would be awesome it'd be awesome to have a gym and fucking South Austin and North Austin and Houston and all like that would be dope as fuck, right? Like honest on like that would be dope to franchise stuff like that. But it what we did here in East Austin is kind of an anomaly. Like the amount of growth that we experienced, like and it's just so much more than just like, all right, let's open a fucking gym. Like yeah. so much more than that. And like those are the things that I think yeah. about. And, so like, and- I don't know if you would agree with this, but yeah. like it's an enormous amount of luck too, because not not most businesses Bro, get that kind luck, of growth. Timing, yeah, it's a it's it, it's a hard you know. Again, like I'm very humble, and I and I completely understand and very self aware of what the amount of growth and success that Lyft ATX has gotten over the last four years. Like I get it, but I think about that, and I always come up with the same thing. Just because I open another gym in another city or another area, like. 
what hole am I feeling there? Or am I just opening up a gym just for the sake of like having a lift ATX gym? Like there's so much more that we put into this space. Like, yeah. that's I don't how know. You, that's it's how an interesting topic, right? Like when you get into the weeds of it and like, it's just so much more. Now, maybe also like maybe if I had opened Lift ATS when I was like 25, maybe you would have tried 26. it. You were like, "Fuck it, this yeah, money's saying, coming Fuck in." It, let's go. Like, let's. I. But, bro, I'm I'm about to celebrate my 43rd birthday in a few days on Saturday. So it's Happy like early birthday, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, and we'll like, come out. What are you doing? We are going. Oh man, I don't know when this is gonna come out, but Friday night it's Tejano night at Mavericks. We okay. got a VIP upstairs in Buda, Texas. Though me and my wife been wanting to go dancing for a oh, while. Okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna okay. go celebrate. We'll all be out there, Mavericks, okay, cool, uh, cool, Friday cool. night. But. I'm gonna be there 8 p.m. and I'm leaving at 11. That's how it. <laughs> be like, you I'm gonna turn up. One? I'm gonna turn up happening. for three hours and get off pedal, and then I'm like, all like, right, that's out. Okay, that's what's it. your 